This one's going to do pan sharpening, which is a process to increase the quality of an image. It's done by merging a high resolution pan chromatic image and a lower resolution RGB image. So you'll recall when we looked at Landsat bands, band yeah. eight is pan chromatic. And it has resolution 15 meters. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, the color ones have resolution 30 meters. Yes. So someone has given me these Landsat files. Uh, this is the this gray one here is the panchromatic image, and then this is an RGB image that has slightly lower resolution. So like with Sentinel, we do have, you start typing Landsat, we do have a Landsat 8 on AWS reader, and then a regular Landsat 1 if you already have the data. Um, but since these are just a couple of files that someone has given me in GeoTIFF format, um, I just need an easy peasy GeoTIFF reader. So I'm just gonna drag those in and let it read those as GeoTIFF. So panchromatic, RGB. Okay, for the pan sharpening formula, um, we're gonna use a raster expression evaluator. So this is a powerful transformer that lets you do calculations on the bands in order to generate whatever output you need. In this case, we are going to pass it our two rasters, panchromatic and RGB, and then we're gonna calculate the values for the output. So if I open the parameters, um, I actually, I saved the expressions earlier so you don't have to watch me type them out. I just did save as my default. Um, but what's happening here is we're actually just using a pan sharpening formula that we found online. Um, so it's not as scary as it looks. This A0, B1 business, that's just array syntax. So if we say B0, that means we're just getting the first band of raster B, for example. And then that's just the calculation. Um, we're setting red, green, and blue on the output image. The eight just means eight bit color. Okay. So here's the thing with this transformer. It requires the input rasters to be the same size. So we need to resample this RGB image to be the same size as the panchromatic one. So to do this, you just delete that connection. Um, we are going to get the properties of this panchromatic image using the raster property extractor. So this will expose information about this image as attributes. You can see here, if we drop this down, this is all the attributes that we're exposing. So we're gonna use number of rows and number of columns in order to resample. So to resample, we're gonna use raster resampler. So the RGB reading actually needs to happen in the middle here um, because I need to be able to use the number of rows and columns from this raster in order to resize the RGB one. So instead of using a normal reader, I'm gonna delete this. We're gonna use this lovely transformer called the feature reader. And this is essentially a reader in the middle of your workflow. So it's perfect for a situation like this. If I open it, I'm going to tell it I want a GeoTIFF and I'm going to go get my RGB raster. Um, the other parameter I care about here is this one. I'm going to say, um, please merge the rasters. And then. Yeah, merge the attributes. Or, yeah, merge the attributes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll connect that output. So now we can resample it because we're reading it here. So I'm gonna open this resampler and set the parameters. So number of columns, gonna set that. Number of rows, gonna set that. And then we'll connect these. So I'm gonna connect the RGB raster here and I'm gonna connect this eight band, uh, the panchromatic one here. And then I'm going to add an inspector so we can see that in the data inspector. I'm also going to add inspectors here and here so that I can show you the difference between all of them. Um, let me run that. So that's our workspace. We are reading this panchromatic 
raster, that's just the eighth band of a Landsat image. And then down here, we're doing, um, we're using the information from that raster in order to resample the RGB one. So we're reading the RGB one here, we're resampling it so that's the same size, and then we're passing the same size rasters into this expression evaluator. And this is where the magic is happening for pan sharpening with this formula. Um, applying that to both of them and then the output that we get is going to be a nice crisp image. So there's the output, um, RGB, there's the pan chromatic and there's the pan sharpened. So if I zoom in, let me show you the zoomed in area. Okay, so there is the RGB and then pan sharpened. So you can Hopefully see the difference there. Yeah, you can see that. So RGB, it looks a little pixelated, pan sharpened, it's less pixelated. Lovely. Yay, love it. 